everyone my name is prakash mithani and today i'm going to talk about how to embed our yammer group feeds to our sharepoint page so that we can interact with our colleagues or within our organizations through yammer directly from our sharepoint page so it's pretty easy that how we embed sharepoint group feeds to our sharepoint page so uh, let's just get started here uh, what i'll do is i'll create a group in my yammer feed and after creating a group i'll embed uh, the code of that particular group to here in this my test page that i've created in sharepoint so now what i have to do first is i have to create a yammer group and after that i have to embed that group feed to my this test page so for creating a new group in the left and bottom corner there is a plus sign create a new group just click on that and there is a two options coming up in a pop up so one is internal group and one is external group so internal group is basically for the internal purpose or internal usage of your organizations I mean the people of your organization will be able to interact within this group and if you want to add people outside your organizations who can interact with you or can have a conversation on the yammer group chat so then you can create external group so that outside <coughs> your organizations people will be able to access or see that particular group chat so for now i'm creating an internal group i'll be creating a new yammer group over here and there is the options group member so if you want certain people or certain set of people to be able to see or view this conversation then you can add the group members here in this particular section so that is mostly used in a private <coughs> access scenario so I'll just go below there first and we'll you know talk about what is public access and what is private access. So if you can see that there is a public access and there is a private access. So in a public access, anyone in the network can view the conversation and a post. <coughs> Only the group member can view conversation and a post. So that means when you click on a checkbox public, so that means the people, the number of people, n number of people whosoever in your organizations will be able to see this group chat if I make this a public access. So if I make it a private access, then only the group members, the group member will be able to see this conversation and will be able to post the thing in this particular group. So let's suppose that if I click on a private access, in that case, I can add my group member from here and only the group member whosoever is added in this particular group members section will be able to see this conversation and will be able to post <coughs> the any new post whatever they want to post so this is the difference between private access and public access and internal group and external group so once you have created that particular group just click on create group option and your group will be created so your new yammer group is created here and i can start typing anything here so i'll just type Hi folks and will post my either you can click on post or either you can press shift plus enter and your post will be live there so once you have <coughs> added a post in your group so now the next stage is to how to embed this yammer applications group feed to my SharePoint page so that people will be able to access this particular group chat from a SharePoint specific page and can interact directly from there. So what I have to do is in the right hand side corner in the below there is an embed this feed in your site. Just click on that. There is the embed code of JavaScript will be coming up here. Just copy the entire code from here and go to your SharePoint test page and click on edit section and go to insert bar and just click on embed code and now just paste your iframe code here so if you can just see that this is the div element created here and then the script that is uh, our yammer apis that is created by microsoft is coming up there and you can set your height and width for your uh, yammer div division section i've just set it 600 width and now just click on insert and your yammer feed will be there
is taking time so just click on save and I hope that <coughs> there is our Eucality slide and this is my group feed that I have just typed hi fox and I can just reply and just like it from here I can just reply it from here hey welcome and press shift enter and now if I go to my yammer feed I can see this conversation over there also so that means it's working fine for us and uh, we'll be able to see both the things here and here so it is a shorter version that you are embedding a particular group to a SharePoint page so that people of your organizations can directly interact from your website page through Yammer and <coughs> it's easy to use and bring all the things in one location and start conversating with your groups. So that's all from my end and thank you so much.